With a taser pointed at his chest, Peter McFarland did sit down. The 64-year-old had fallen at his home but refused to be taken to the hospital because he didn't have insurance. We can take it by ambulance. We told you that. Exactly. I can't afford it. Despite his wife's objections, He's got a heart problem. deputies kept the taser trained on him and ordered him to get in an ambulance. Put your hands behind the back. My hands behind the back. Put your hands behind the back. This is the latest incident to raise controversy over the use of tasers, which police departments claim can reduce injuries and fatalities. But a study of major U.S. cities found deaths in custody actually rise sharply nearly six times during the first year a department uses tasers. Dr. Byron Lee led the study. In the first year that a police department, sheriff's department, used the taser, the deaths, sudden deaths went up 600 percent, is that? 600 percent in that first year, yeah. After the first year, in-custody deaths returned to the same level as before tasers were introduced. Tasers are now used by some 12,000 law enforcement agencies. By 2008, a study by Amnesty International showed in at least 35 states there were deaths after taser use, 55 in California, 52 in Florida. Experts say the risk of death increases when a person is shocked with a taser more than once. Peter McFarland was hit four times. What I saw in that video was a non-life-threatening situation turned into a life-threatening one. They came in here like, like there was a fire going on or some gunfight was going on. Stop resisting! Stop resisting! Stop resisting! McFarland is now suing a Marin County, California Sheriff's Department, which says its deputies were following the law and department policy. John Blackston, CBS News, San Francisco. Justice. It's not about agenda. It's not about mobilizing people. It's about dialing for corporate dollars. These two parties have sold the U.S. government and the American people to the highest bidders. The United States of America is a terrorist base of operations. The United States of America is an enemy to the starving and suffering men and women and children of Afghanistan.